if you're missing this part of your training in the morning, you're not going to be very successful. Because this is where races are won and lost, right here at the starting gate, you know. What we're trying to achieve here is just to get horses to get comfortable behind the gate, be comfortable in the gate, stand patiently, so the other horses, the other field of horses will be loaded and we all get a fair and honest start. That's easier said than done. But this is this is how you get get that done, is practicing in the morning. And your, your maintenance work that you're doing here, like I said, being repetitious with these horses, gets them comfortable and confident about what we're asking them to do in the afternoon. So. What's your name? I'm Butch Hocker. Hi, Butch. Nice to meet you. Scott Daniels. We've Hi, got Scott. a real experienced crew. Doing, these guys. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet all you. This guy's yeah, been doing it for quite a while, so uh, with we, we have a passion. For, we, we have a real passion for what we do here. You know what I mean? So we take it very seriously. You know, and uh, we just hope management and the uh, trainers like Chris Grove and Ted Mayer realize that as well. <laughs> but they do. They just just on the lighter side. They do. They do. They realize. <laughs> They're happy to have us. Dropping, right? Yeah, he just got. Well, well you, you're dealing with thousand-pound animals. You, you see how confined this space is. There's, you got a stall that's about nine feet. You know, when the tail doors are shut, you know, you got about eight or nine feet from back to front, and you got about three feet in width. So now you got horse, rider, and assistant starter in this here confined space. Horses get very claustrophobic. You know what I mean? But this is how you get them to be confident about being in there, you know, is working with them. It's just like the old adage of anything you do. You get out of it what you put into it. So if, if, you're, if you're missing this part of your training in the morning, you're not going to be very successful. Because this is where races are won and lost, right here at the starting gate, you know. How long have you been doing uh, this? I've been, I've been working on the starting gate since 1980. I'm guessing no. So about 30, 32 years. Uh, Goose, he's been he's been 30 years. Kevin, he's a 20-year veteran. Chris, he's been his father and mother are trainers. He he was born into the business, so we, we've got we've got a lot of experience here. So, uh, but that's what you that's what you need. You need good horsemanship here at the starting gate to uh, to keep it a safe atmosphere, you know. And uh, that's the, that's the most important thing. You want to keep it as safe as you can for the riders, the horses. And us as assistant starters, as you know, gate gate personnel, you know. So. So they're they're sort of breaking, but they're so they're not going to charge down the track. This is called a flop because you just let the doors flop open. This oh really? Win five, so be ready, yeah, uh, Chris. Yeah. So it's done. Win five, ready. Right. Okay, we're 
We got a great shot. Or he just threw it on the first. Alright, on three. One, two, three. How cool is that? <laughs> wow. We got stuff so they can spring the gate electronically if they're really breaking the horse instead of just flopping. Uh, oh, yeah, we got a shot. That's that's right here. You mean what's this thing? Oh wow! Hey, wow. Cool. Hey, Butch, let me know. Yeah. You're all set. Go. All right, here we go. That was the, so this is the actual uh, starter. Yeah. I mean, it re releases the, uh, the gate. It's up to the gate crew if your horse is ready to, that part of racing, the gate is up to the gate crew. So if they say your horse needs more work, he needs more work, and that's that's the whole story. So, um, and every horse has to be certified that they're able to get in the gate, stand in the gate, and break from the gate. And, and that's up to the gate crew to determine when that's the case. So they keep records of the of who's going through, and, yep. and there's yep. a clipboard over there. I guess that's what. Yeah, they, they, they keep a record of all this stuff, and and so they'll know. And like a good trainer will remind them, but like if they if you have a horse that's fretful in the gate, they'll know that. People don't realize we we we're dedicated to what we do. That we we're we're here six mornings a week, you know, for three hours, and this is what we're practicing. You know what I mean? We we got to get it down until we they get it right, you know. And horses are thousand pound animals that are unpredictable. You can work with them as much as you want, but if they have a little bit of a meltdown, guess what? You know what I mean? It gets ugly in there, and and somebody can get hurt, you know, real quick and and seriously hurt, you know. So that's why it has to be taken so seriously, you know. It's funny how sensitive horses are, you know, because they can feel a fly on the top of their back. That's how sensitive they are. So when they got little things like that irritating them, it makes it a little more difficult, you know, getting them to cooperate. And you have a nice cool morning like this, and you don't have the the bugs bothering them or anything like that. It, it makes our our job just a little bit easier. Thanks again. Yep, Butch. no problem. Appreciate it. Thank it, you so yep, much. You're, you're welcome. Nice to meet you. Stop Thank back you. anytime. Thank you. No, like.